from here at the MasterCard Skate Canada International. We begin the pair's free skate with one of the three Canadian teams, Valerie Marcoux and Craig Bunton, a team that was in ninth place after the short program. Valerie and Craig in just their second season together. Making the move after this past season's Canadian Nationals to Montreal to train with Richard Gauthier, Sally and Peltier's first coach. Triple Lutz Twist, their first one in competition. Nice tight throw, triple loop, very fast rotation by Val. The thinking changes now in this new order of judging. But one thing that doesn't change the importance of these jumps. Into sequence with combination of a double toe. Very well done. In the old days, which weren't so long ago, if you won the free skate, quite often you won this competition if you were in the top three. It's not the case anymore. You're going for points. Skater with the most points wins after both events. Fabulous helicopter lift, losing a little speed on the landing. Watch this next element. Death spiral, unusual entry, all of which increases difficulty and a change of position. called a carry lift, not considered one of the required elements for the free program. And if you need a short version about what to look for, the elements in the new system are as important as ever, but what has increased in importance is how they are linked together. Interesting steps. There's that risk coming from putting the side-by-side -side triple toes so late in the program. Fatigue becomes a factor. Training for programs like this is the ultimate challenge. Unlike singles, however, where difficult elements put late in the program gives the competitor a bonus mark, the pairs do not yet have that opportunity. That might be one of the little tweaking things the ISU will be looking at. And an amazing throw triple Salcow coming into the final seconds of the four and a half minute program. Constant steps. Well, well skated. Finishing lift. Makes you feel like what we saw from them last year was just a shadow of their potential. Great job. 
Only the second side-by-side -side triple jumps, really the, the major glitch, but what a nice start for Marcou and Bunton. Fourth at the Canadians last season. They'll be one of the teams fighting for the national championship, which is up for grabs in Edmonton in early January. Right now, their early season test is done. The diehard skate fan, the skateoid in Canada, would know that Valerie, of course, used to skate with Bruno Marcotte, once went to a world championship. Sometimes you change partners, as Jamie Sele and David Pelche know that as well. They became world and Olympic champions. And it's kind of interesting to note that Valerie also had a test run with the guy who was going to skate next, Sean Wirtz. Elizabeth Putnam tried out with Craig Bunton. They decided, you know, maybe this won't work, and they ended up skating with each other's partners. Sometimes you're just searching for the right combination. Valerie and Craig, with the exception of the fall and the side-by-side -side triple toes, had what I consider an amazing performance. They delivered in choreography. They had power and stamina. They were very solid in the landings of the pair maneuvers. Outstanding skate. All right, here's our first look at the pair's free skate marks. And the good thing about the point system is you know what you need to knock off the team in front of you or to go for the goal this team will not win the championship here tonight but they want to climb the ladder decent technical marks look at that 150.26 for their total which includes points from both the short program and the free skate we'll watch that point total as the rest of the teams come on the ice including the two-time world champions from 